Hello, wealthy family, and welcome to today's Mindset Monday. Thank you so much for coming and sharing some time with me. I love and appreciate you all. Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you for joining this channel and helping our energy to grow and our presence to be known. Be sure to check out my website, www.ascendinginfinitegoddess.com for more in-depth detailed information not things that I share on YouTube because you can't censor my website but they can censor my channel <laughs> and believe it or not as small as we are as of this moment as I'm recording I'm under 300 subscribers but they have flagged some of my videos they have deleted some of my videos I had to kind of switch up the lingo and the spelling so oh, yeah but if anything ever happens my website is up I have paid up for it for the next three years so we're good to go <laughs> all right wealthy family so today we are going to talk about the hegelian dialect and i'm sorry this is where i would edit if i edit videos but that's my citronella plant and my flame was kicking up i don't want it to burn my plant can't have that that that's my protector my mosquitoes <laughs> all right so today we're going to talk about the hegelian dialect some of you may have heard of this, some of you may not have heard of this. Um, this uh, philosophy or way of thinking has been more known and profound and expanded on as of recently, of the last two years, because of the way things have been shifting in our world. But the Hegelian dialect is based off of a philosophy from a German philosopher, George Hegel or Hegel um, he has a long name but George Hegel is his first and last name um, and he's a philosopher and he came up with a way on how to you know control or manipulate the masses right start off with a small group of people then it grew and then he realized oh we can kind of dominate this thing right so basically what the hegelian dialect is problem reaction solution so that's where someone creates a problem right then they incite or invoke a reaction and then they provide the solution but most of the time the solution is to benefit them so they create an issue so they can have the backing or the support of others because they're like wait wait well wait, wait a minute and then they create the solution and usually they benefit from the solution so examples of this can be found all throughout our history but just for time's sake let's focus on the financial crisis now some people had a really rough past year all right 2020 was a really rough year for some for others it was really good year okay and what i found was that those people who brought bought into the uh the uh the problem of oh there's a virus it's causing people to drop dead it's causing people to have to close their businesses it's causing people to lose their job now they can't feed their family now they have this that and that and that i'm not saying that those things weren't happening because i mean i live in the real world so i see how those things were happening but not to the extent of which it was trying to be pushed but those who really fed into it meaning those who listen to their friends their families their business owners the news their politicians and depending where they lived those that really really bought into it they had financial issues it's like they relinquished all their power they relinquished all their wherewithal they didn't even try to pick up a hustle or anything of that nature they didn't adapt to moving online or anything of that nature right because in 2020 i had two offices i was about to open a third office for my financial business and we had to close i i cut ties i closed those offices but i moved everything online and then eventually i just let my team handle what it is financially and i work now in my spiritual business but even in my spiritual business you know i was seeing people face to face but i had to adapt and move things online right so with me with me doing so 
I saw the value in it because I still wanted to help people. I was like, you know, I still want to be able to reach others. And I know they say there is crisis out there. No one's spending money. But, you know, how is it that people are investing and buying in stocks and crypto and all these other things? Right. So I wasn't really experiencing that problem per se. I wasn't feeding into it. But, you know, I had some of my neighbors who fed into the problem and they were like, you know, I don't know how I'm going to have my lights on and I don't know how I'm going to be able to feed my family. And I was like, well, I, I can't help you with your lights, but I can help you with food because food is my love language, right? So the problem was put out there that we were having a financial crisis. Things had to close. No one could work, right? And the reaction was, get us back to normalcy. Let's open back up. We need the economy to, to, to be stimulated again. We're ready to go out here and do X, Y, and Z, right? That was the reaction of the people. That was the reaction of the country. Tell us what it is that we need to be, that we need to have. And now the solution of, hey, this is how we can get back into business, how we can open up. You all take this jab, okay? The solution is take this jab so you can be somewhat protected even though you can still kind of contract these issues but if you want to open back your businesses you want to get back to work you want to go out and experience these things that we told you you shouldn't be experiencing however a lot of the people including myself were still experiencing these things the solution is take this job so that we can help you get back to to your economic status or get back to this um you know financial thriving and livelihood as a matter of fact we're going to give you these bonuses right some states are entering you into a lottery some states are giving you um incentives some some businesses are saying oh if you have proof then we'll give you this free item like a donut which you shouldn't be eating if you're trying to be healthy and keep your immune system up right or you know if you come work with us and you have this we're going to give you a bonus right there's all different types of things but that's the solution right or let's think about the uh, the bank bailout of, I forgot what year, but it was during the Obama administration where it, we had a financial crisis again, right? Some people don't seem to remember that, <laughs> but we had a financial crisis and Obama was like, oh, you know, we're having this crisis and the banks are doing this and the, the banks are doing that and we need to help bail them out because they're the backbone of our economy. Even though it was the bank's fault, why there was inflation and why people couldn't pay back their loans and why people couldn't, you know, refinance or things of that nature. Now, you're going to take the taxpayer's money and bail out these financial institutions, right? So that they can recoup what they lost because they inflated it, right? And now the taxpayers are like, listen, we got to get back to normal. What we going to do? And then the administration said, oh, well, you know what? We're going to give you all this stimulus, right? They didn't call it a stimulus. It was a boost or something. And they mailed everybody these checks, okay? And, but they gave the people the checks to kind of pass say, okay, let's, I hear you, your calls for needing a bailout. Here you go. We're going to help you out. We're going to soothe your reaction. The solution is going to give you all these few hundred dollars to kind of stimulate the economy, but we're also going to give billions of your dollars back to the same institutions that caused the problem in the first place. But people are so happy or were so distracted by the pacifier they were given that they accepted it. See, it's a mind game that is continuously played. Words are are spells and they can play tricks on you depending how people word things right one of our other presidents george w bush he famously he famously said if you are not with us then you are with the terrorist wait a minute what if i don't agree with what it is that you're saying if i have a difference of opinion that means that i'm with the terrorist now i'm in the same category as a terrorist but there's that dialect again right there's been so many times that people have created problems to invoke a reaction and then they give you the solution that doesn't really help you but in your mind's eye because you are so outraged because the reaction was so genuine because you want to have your livelihood intact or you want to get back to some state of normalcy whatever that means or whatever that looks like right because before time, you know, the way things were looking, it wasn't quite normal, right? We needed a shakeup and things needed to get better. But anyway, but because your reaction was so genuine, when they give you this 
pacifying solution most people are so happy that oh thank you you helped us you say this and i didn't have to think of anything because i don't know how we were going to get out of this i'm just so thankful that you fixed it oh and you gave me a bone on top of that oh my goodness thank you thank you thank you they just gloss over the facts okay these people are playing mind games with you, and they've done it conti continuously for centuries, okay? But the cat is out the bag, okay? We are no longer reacting to things. We are responding to things. We are all philosophers, and for those of us who take the time to dig deep within and sort through the mind fog, we can respond to things in a way where we no longer need anyone else's solution because we are our own problem solvers. We are our own saviors. So, take this for a moment. If you turn off the TV and you turn off the noise and you just went outside your house and walked around, do things really look like there's a big problem going on? Does it look like we really need to be going to war right now with other countries? Does it really look like we're under attack at this moment? No. Problem, I mean, most of the time you won't see those problems. However, if you sit down in front of other people's propaganda and allow it to infuse with your own energy that's what you're always going to fear your i mean see rather that's what you're always going to experience you're always going to see the problem of things once you shift your mentality you start to see and experience thing, experience things differently because the way how we all experience things is based off the reflection of our own eye based off the vibration that we're on okay so no more feeding into this Hegelian dialect. I don't care about what problem you got. That's your problem, not mine. That's not my reality. And if it's not your reality, it's okay to say it's not your reality. You can still have empathy for other people and their situation and not be sucked into their drama. That's actually the best way to help someone. Because if someone is poor and needs assistance, if you're poor, you can't help them. If I didn't have my stuff together, I wouldn't be able to help other people in my community I wouldn't be able to shower you with food or help you take you rides or whatever the case may be I wouldn't be able to do that if I was on the same level as you we all cannot be on the same level and that's okay we all have our own journey but your journey is what you choose to make it okay wealthy family that's all I have for you today for this mindset Monday I hope you all enjoy the rest of your week and until we connect again for Thursday's video unless I put something up in the meantime like i did my sunday fun day did y'all see that video man yesterday hubby and i were kayaking our butts off you hear me we were out there for hours and it only felt like one hour but we were out there for a long time and i really really enjoyed that right there was no problems like the 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 islands were had boats everywhere people were hanging out there was no social distancing like it was all good there was music playing people were eating sunbathing it was amazing it was so beautiful get out and enjoy yourself take a deep breath in of that good ass prana and revitalize yourself all right wealthy family until we connect again stay alert stay aware and live in love